hope that you are, you are doing great. So in this lesson, um, in this lesson, I want to say you uh, how to swipe the mobile screen uh, horizontally. Okay. So from the previous lesson, we already learned how to swipe the mobile screen uh, vertically. So let me try to open the application first, and then we can uh, I can share you what is the target the uh, target screen that we want to practice for this lesson. So if we click on the swipe here, you can see we can swipe from the right to the left here. So the way we uh, we swipe on this direction, you see from the right to the left here. You look at the cursor here, okay? So this uh, this direction, even the right to the left or the left to the right, we call that means we are swiping the mobile screen uh, horizontally. So in the previous lesson, we try to scroll. Uh, by using this direction, so that means we uh, we were uh, swiping the uh, mobile screen by using uh, swipe vertically direction. Okay, so the logic it should be the same as previous lesson, except now we need to uh, change from the S uh, coordinate to the Y coordinate. Right, so try to observe first. So let's keep things simple. That's what we want to do. That we will click on the spike button here. And then we just try to practice in this lesson from the right to the left like this. So observer here, I will put the cursor around 50% uh, compared to the X coordinate, uh, okay? Compared to the, the X side here. And then I will swipe until uh, around uh, 90% of the width screen here, and then I will uh, drop, I will release, and that means I can perform swipe horizontally from the right to the left successfully. Okay, so now it's a very simple. If you already learned about previous lesson here, what uh, we need to do that we need to copy, just press Control C and then Control V here, then you change swipe vertically to horizontal click here and you hit enter now close the old one here inside here instead of uh, click on the prompts here we will try to click on the swipe you can try uh, to open the appium desktop to inspect the uh, element here but i'm very sure it should be something related to swipe based on the information that we have from the previous lesson so now we click on not the form label, but the swipe label here. This is the first one we need to try to adjust, okay? So now we need to make sure that we are on the target uh, screen. So in this case, we need to inspire, uh, uh, inspect and then we need to target something on the screen uh, to make sure that before we have some interaction on the screen, we need to make sure we are on the target, uh, this target screen. The reason why I already explained in the previous lesson, okay? So now, like, uh, open the Appium desktop and uh, start on the box 4725 because we need to use the box 4723 for our test script. So you click on Inspector here, and like before, you just uh, need to make sure that the remote port in this case is 4725 as well. So click on the site capability and we select the um, correct capability then start the session so here like before we need to wait a little Okay, here we go. Uh, now let me try to manually click on the swipe uh, screen first, and then uh, we will try to refresh the source. So let's try to inspect this one. So this one have the test as swipe horizontal here. So let me try to copy, and we can use expect to specify for this 
thing. So we wait until file element not by accessibility ID, but will be something like by uh, expect, right? Uh, by expect here, and I will put something like uh, double slash uh, star uh, where the text equal this value. Okay. And now we get the mobile screen size, so we don't change anything here. But now we init the start voice and the end voice to touch and release. So in this case, the edge start voice. So try to go back to the slide. So this is the edge co coordinate, right? Uh, this one is for the previous lesson, okay? Not this lesson. But I want to reuse this uh, image. Uh, to share with you in this lesson. So this is the X co coordinates and this is the Y coordinates. Okay, so where I want to talk, I will talk around here, right? So it should be uh, the middle of the screen width and it should be around the middle of the uh, screen height as well, right? So let's go back here. So X Stack point will be fifty percent. Okay, screen uh, screen width, and then multiply for one hundred, and the end point now will be around uh ten percent, right? Around ten percent because we need to swipe from the right to the left, right? So it should be around ten percent here. So let me try to copy this one, and then. We will paste here, but now we need to change 10%. So for the Y stack points, uh, in this case, it should be 50% first, and then the Y end point will not uh, be changed, right? So it will be the Y stack point. So you can see we just switch from the X uh, direction and the Y connect, uh, um, direction in uh, in the case with Y the screen horizontally compared with the uh, sky vertically, right? So now we perform and I don't think we need to change anything else, right? So this is all of the thing that we need to, to change. Okay, so, and by the way, for re, uh, sorry for any background noise around. So now uh, before running uh, the script, we need to open the uh, Appium server approach. We already have the uh, one for Appium desktop, but we will start another separate one, Appium, and just hit enter. By default, we will start on the box 4723. Okay. And now you just hit on the run button here from the main methods and you run this method. I just want to open the Appium server lock here and open the Pfizer application to see what's going on on the device. So this is still the previous uh, um, screen that we opened before. So now we are waiting for the Appium server to contact with the bootstrap on the device and try to relaunch another session for us. So here, so you can see if you try to open a new session, from the home screen, and then if you click on the spy button, here we go. Click on spy, and then you see. Okay, so you see we uh, could do something uh, spy from the right to the left, and then the left to the right. So the thing happened from the left to the right because we we do something here. Let me change something here, not scroll on, not scroll up, but uh, scroll, uh, let me try to swipe from uh, right to left direction. And this is from left to right direction. So that does mean you you could see that we have just done something like uh, from the right to the left and then from the left to the right here. Okay, so this is the way we can achieve how to swipe the mobile screen horizontally. And so now uh, you can uh, have 
two ways, swipe vertically and swipe horizontally, okay? So there's something we need to implement that so we cannot write the whole code here. So we need to create some utility methods and then we can use in our project, right? So for example, you test on uh, some specific application and you wanna uh, just try to use some convenience methods. So we don't need to uh, write the whole thing here again when, when we need to swipe the screen. Because I do believe that when you, you know, when you have a mobile automation tech, you need to swipe the mobile screen a lot. So that makes sense for us to have some utility function and then we can reduce some wear in our code. Okay, so I think it's very much for this lesson. Bye for now and see you in the next lesson. We will talk in detail more how to make some utility function. Okay, bye for now.